For anybody who's looking to buy a condo, it's very important to get a real estate lawyer to review the status certificate of a condo building before making any deal official. So here's what you should know. So whenever you purchase a condo, you gotta remember that yes, you're buying a specific unit, but you're also buying into the building. So it's very important to understand that in that building, there may have been debts or there may have been uh, things that are happening, whether it's in the reserve fund or whatever it is, that must be looked at for anybody who has not lived in the building so that you understand what you're getting yourself into with not just the condo unit, but in the building itself. So I'll explain that a little bit more in this video. But if you do not understand what a status certificate is, I will go through everything that you should know quickly in this video so that it doesn't make it too complicating, but that you understand the importance of what a status certificate has so that when a lawyer does review it, you understand what they're actually looking at and why you're hiring them in the first place. So any condo building will have a status certificate and basically that status certificate is being updated by the condo property management, uh, whether that's in a condo building or it could be even condo townhomes. Um, so you can get the status certificate from the condo building uh, by simply just reaching out to the property manager and requesting this. And the fee for that is about maybe 100 to maybe $200 if you're needing a rush on that status certificate to get to be viewed. So your real estate agent will always put the wording in the actual offer to make sure that everything is worded properly. And basically the timing of how long it takes to actually come in, it could take up to 10 business days to actually be received. And then from that point, your real estate agent's gonna put how many days you're gonna have to actually review the status certificate once it's in your possession. Uh, so it will look something like the status certificate will be ordered and received within 10 business days. And once it has been received, uh, the lawyer for the buyer will have up to two business days or whatever it is, a specific date, uh, to review the status certificate and be satisfied with everything that is inside the status certificate information booklet. And it is a big package, whether it's a PDF or an actual booklet itself, uh, but it is a long document that lawyers know where to look for. And us as agents, even we know specific areas where to look, uh, but it's also best to just trust a lawyer to make sure that they're looking at everything with regards to uh, the things I'm gonna talk about in this video coming up. So the lawyer is gonna look at the financial status of the unit, which will show the outstanding payments that the current owner of the unit that you're purchasing may not have paid up to the point that you're purchasing the unit. So for example, if let's say they haven't paid their maintenance fees, that's gonna show up on the status certificate and the lawyer will be able to see that they're uh, back about whatever amount of months. Uh, and that can obviously be taken care of before closing, but you wanna make sure that you have these things figured out before the deal actually becomes official. And it's also gonna be with regards to, let's say the property management needs to get a certain payment from each condo owner and a specific owner is not paying that payment. Um, that's gonna show up on the status certificate as well. So next we'll talk about the building, but you must know that with the actual unit itself, that information will show as well as the parking information and the locker, which has been documented for the unit that you're buying on the MLS document. So it just verifies everything that's been told to you and your agent. Next, the lawyer's gonna wanna look at the reserve fund details of the building. And this just verifies the payments or the actual work that has been done in the building. Um, and obviously the money that's being put towards the repairs that are needed. Uh, sometimes property managements don't uh, do a good job in managing funds and that can really show on the reserve fund and the amount of money that's sitting in what's called a reserve fund but is looked at as let's say the building's piggy bank and basically the amount of money that should be in there uh, needs to be a certain amount for a certain amount of units that are in a building uh, so for example a lot of buildings in Vaughn let's say that are about 30 plus stories there should be about a million dollars in that reserve fund and I know this from just speaking with a lot of lawyers but you know if it's less it may be possible for that just to be something that the lawyers can make sense of, but for the most part, they may wanna see a million dollars plus, and if that's not showing, they'll dig into it, they'll make sure everything makes sense, uh, and they'll wanna look into anything further that does not show within the time that you purchased the unit and any information that wasn't given to you from that time. The next thing that the lawyer's gonna to wanna to look at is any legal claims that may have been made to the building um, from the time of, let's say, even when the building was built. Uh, for example, let's say landscapers uh, may have sued the property management or sued the developer. That may show on the status certificate because now there's a legal action happening within that condo building and anybody who buys in the building now moving forward must be notified about this because they're now gonna be held liable for any payments that may be due to pay any lawsuit fees or anything like that. So legal fees are also very important 
uh, to look at from a lawyer's point of view because they must know if let's say property management's being sued or let's say uh, there's a you know an owner in the building that's suing the condo corp. These are things that are very important that are not gonna be shown to you at the time you buy the unit. So those three major things are super important for a lawyer to look at because if any of those things are not what you expected as a buyer before making the deal official, you can back out of the deal obviously within that conditional period. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you get the lawyer to look at these things, explain it to you, uh, so that you know that not just right now, but later on, this is not gonna affect the value of your unit. And chances are that if a building does have stuff that's wrong with uh, the reserve fund or anything that can make a building not as, as appealing, that can really affect the value of the units inside the condo building. So these are very important things to know as a buyer uh, and make sure that you get explained properly because like I said, it may not affect you now, but later on, if these things continue, that can really affect the value of your unit and the perception of the condos in that building from the outside looking in.